using Robert Sternberg's Triarctic Theory of Intelligence to enhance learning, how it's done, practical strategies for you. First of all, he defines intelligence as the ability to adapt to and shape one's environment in order to meet one's needs. This is a form of problem solving, uh, very similar to Howard Gardner's definition of intelligence as the ability to solve problems. As the problem changes, the type of intelligence needed to solve that problem also changes. Triarctic theory of intelligence says three types of thinking work together to solve these problems, to create products, or to enable outstanding performances. There's as many types of intelligences as there are domains. So in any domain, if you can solve problems, create products, or shape environments using these three types of thinking, that is a type of intelligence. The three types of thinking are creative or generative thinking, the ability to generate ideas and make associations, and evaluative or analytical thinking, ability to monitor executive processes, to analyze and appraise ideas, and pragmatic thinking or practical thinking, the ability to recognize the content context of the situation and adapt the ideas, and I'll be a little bit more specific about that in just a minute. Creative thinking involves all these different types of cognitive operations, and I will have this and all these operative words in examples on my website, which will be shown at the end of this. Evaluative thinking, here are just operations for evaluation. Evaluative operations have students rank or grade or test or measure or recommend. These operational words are great for designing activities or assignments or even questions. Analytic thinking, analytic operations. Analyze, infer, explain. Pragmatic or practical thinking, anything that has students do something like that. Essentially, it is make it work. And here's the idea, and this is research-based. If you include all three types of thinking in an activity, assignment, or unit, and that could be in the form of questions, activities, and assignments, students will learn more and learn more deeply. All right? Examples. In a social studies class, examine a common social problem, have students generate a list of possible solutions, generative thinking, Look for one or two solutions that seem the most effective and economic, evaluative thinking. Iron out the details and devise a final plan, pragmatic or practical thinking. All right? Three types of thinking to examine one area. In reading, oops, back, generate ways for Harry Potter to, to get out of prison. Put them in categories. In a small group, pick one, create, write a drama, pragmatic thinking, all right? You are looking at the same piece of literature. You're using three types of thinking to manipulate or explore that literature. And again, if you look at my website there, Online Professional Development for Teachers, I will have a list of forms, graphic organizers, and other resources there. Online Professional Development for Teachers.